Dada, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm making a small model of a house. You know Deshpande Kaka, right? He's constructing a new house. So how will that house be? How will it look? To get an idea, I'm just making this a small prototype. Is his house bigger than ours? Uh, not so big. I mean, see, these four rooms are almost like ours only. But his house has a courtyard in front and backyard and he has little space sideways also. Then he can plant many trees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. For what are these four poles? These poles are for the fencing of the house. Uncle will need a long, long barbed wire. How long wire will be needed? Yes, I mean, he will need long wire. But how much long can be measured very easily? Um, Anvita, tell me, what is this shape? Mm, a square. Correct. That means all four sides of this house are of equal length. So now if we add lengths of all these four sides, what will we get? We will get the total length of the wire needed. Correct. Instead of wire, we can take a string. And with the help of that string, we can get an idea of the length of wire required for fencing. Yeah. Now let us start with this pole. Okay. Now keep your finger on the first pole. Yes. Now from the first pole to second, second to third, third to fourth and fourth to first. Look, we have turned the string around all the four poles and come back to pole where we started. Means if we put a wire around all four poles, we get wire of this length. Isn't that correct? How can the short wire fit the large house? We will not need a wire for a door or a gate. <laughs> it's not like that. Let me explain. See, I use this string for this tiny model of a house. See, this is just a model of a house. And because of that, we needed a short string or wire. But the actual house and its fencing will be very, very big. And at that time, we will need long wire for fencing the actual house. Now, the house will require a very long wire. To find actual length of a wire, we have a very easy method. To measure that all, we will spend a lot of time, right? No. Tell me, what is the shape of this board? A square, which means all sides are of equal length. Correct. That means we will measure one side and then multiply it by four. So, we will get the required total length of the wire. Oh, now I have understood. Yes, see, this side of book is called length and this is called as breadth. Now, we measure length and breadth of this book or we measure length of all sides of a fence and add those lengths. So now, what we found by adding up all the lengths is called as perimeter. See, perimeter means the total length of all sides of a closed figure. Dada, if we put a single wire around the fence, then stray cows and goats will enter and eat away all our plants. <laughs> if we have to stop them, then we have to put double fencing. Anvita, how much wire will we need then? Double of the four sides that we have measured. Correct. Okay. Now, find the perimeter of this board. Okay. Uh, Ishan, you take this board and Anvita, you take this other board. So now, perimeters of your board means the total length of the string which I have given you. Yes? Okay. Now measure it. Show me the length of your string. Hmm. Your string is longer than mine. That means total length of all four sides of your board 
is longer than the total length of my board. Correct. Exactly. Very good. Dada, if we do not have a string, then? Let's do something else. Uh, do you have a pencil box? Yes, I got it as a present on my birthday. Okay then, just bring it. Yeah? Okay, okay. Uh, hey Ishan, uh, get a hanger from cupboard also. Okay, okay, I will bring. Yes, huh. Now take this pencil and measure perimeter of your boards. Yes, I will get it. Six pencils. Anishan, how many pencils did you use? Four pencils. We measured perimeter with the help of these pencils. But we do not always measure things using pencils. So for that, we use centimeter or meter for measuring lengths. And for that, we can use this uh, scale also. Ah, so take this scale and measure now. This side is 18 centimeter. And this side is also 18 centimeters, which means total 72 centimeters. Right, very good. Now give it to Anvita. This side is um, 19 centimeters, and this side is 35 centimeters means total sum is 108 centimeters. Good. Dada, why did we bring the hanger? Can we find its perimeter too? See, hanger is a triangle only. So, we can find the perimeter of this triangle. Perimeter means sum of all sides. Is it correct? Uh, then, will you find the perimeter of this triangle? And this is 20 centimeters. This side is 36 centimeters. And the third is 20 centimeters. So 20 centimeters, 20 centimeters, and 36 centimeters. So all together is 76 centimeters. Right. But Dada, where else do we use perimeter? Uh, see, we use perimeter when we want to make use of all the sides. Like, for an example, look at this handkerchief. If we have to stitch a less around it, we can find the perimeter of that and we can come to know how much less we need. If we want to make a carton or box of certain measurement, we have to know how much long board is required to make a carton. Or even you know, like the track in the garden, we take one round. How will you find how long did you walk? By knowing the perimeter of that track. Hey, Dada had made a model of a fort. He had even made a fencing of bricks around it. How many bricks were needed was also found out by finding perimeter. Dada told me. <laughs> oh, nice. So you remember the fort we built in Diwali? Yeah, we have put a beautiful rangoli in front of it. But Dada, the walking track in the garden and the fencing around our fort was not a square. It had a little slanting side. We can also find its perimeter. Maj just measure the length of all sides and total it. Sides could be more than 3 or 4 also. But to measure a perimeter, the figure should be closed figure. Okay, I'll do one thing. Okay, I'll explain this concept to you using these sticks. Okay. Hmm. 
सो नाव इफ द शेप इज लाइक यू और वी वी कैन नॉट फाइंड इट्स पैरामीटर बिकॉज इट इज नॉट अ क्लोज फिगर सो पेरीमीटर मीन्स टोटल डिस्टेंस और टोटल लेंथ अराउंड एनी आर्टिकल और अ थिंग यू कैन मेजर इट यूजिंग स्ट्रिंग और स्टिक्स और ब्रेक्स और विथ अ स्केल इट कुड बी मेजर इन सेंटीमीटर्स गॉट इट ओके आई थिंक वी शुड स्टॉप हियर आई हैव टू गो टू ऑफिस आई लीव नाउ बट यू आर गोइंग टू फिनिश योर होमवर्क राइट वी विल फिनिश दिस टूमोरो ओके ओके आई लीव नाउ वॉट डिड वी लर्न पेरीमीटर ऑफ अ स्क्वेर क्वाड्रिलेट्रल ट्राइंगल और एनी पॉलीगॉन इज द सम ऑफ लेंथ ऑफ ऑल साइड डू दिस एक्टिविटी इन द गिवन पिक्चर सम फिगर्स आर ड्रॉन यूजिंग मैच स्टिक्स यूज स्टिक्स टू फाइंड पेरीमीटर पेरीमीटर ऑफ फर्स्ट फिगर इज टेन स्टिक्स ऑन अ स्क्वेर ग्राफ पेपर सम फिगर्स आर ड्रॉन side of one square is one line find perimeter of the given figure perimeter of the given figure is 18 such lines draw different figure of different shapes and ask your friends to measure the perimeter if you have a graph paper then draw the given bar graph on it use scale to measure its all sides and find its perimeter take some five articles which have triangular or square faces and find their perimeter cut shapes of tangram on a cardboard using these shapes make a largest triangle and measure its perimeter using centimeter scale if we are getting any fractional length then count the next number using tangram pieces make shapes of any two animals or birds draw these animals or birds on a piece of paper and measure its perimeter you are given perimeter of certain figure find lengths of all the sides of the figure